Hi everyone, welcome to Coding Things. In previous video, we have discussed about default argument in Python. And in this video, we are going to learn about what is positional argument and how we can use it. So let's get started. Now I am inside my VS code and uh, we will create a function here. Let's say I will create a function uh, named as display. So I'll write here def uh, display and uh, inside it I will receive three uh, arguments. So let's say the arguments are name and uh, age and gender. Okay. So uh, now inside this function I will simply print these three variables. Okay. So I'll write a print function here and inside it I'll write uh, the name each name each comma uh, name and uh, then i will write another print function here and inside it i'll write uh, age each and uh, comma age and then another print function and i'll write here uh, gender each gender each and then comma gender so now i will simply call this function uh, i'll write here display and inside this function i will pass three values let's say the name is uh, hari and uh, the age let's say 23 and the gender let's say male okay so now in positional argument whenever we pass the value the order must be maintained that means this hurry is going to store inside this name variable that means the first argument will be stored inside the first parameter and the second argument will be stored inside the second parameter and the third argument will be stored inside this third parameter and so on so if i alter any order then that must be affect in the uh, use of that variable inside this function okay so now if i run this file then you can see it is printing name is hari as is 23 and gender is m so now instead of uh, hari if i pass here 23 and uh, instead of 23 i will pass here let's say name that is hari and uh, now if i run this file again let me clear the terminal first and uh, now if i run this file again then you can see it is printing name is 23 age is hari that means this 23 is assigned to the first parameter okay and then this second argument or the second value is assigned to the second parameter okay so this is the positional argument so here order of the argument or order of the values is maintained so that's why we must be careful about the order while passing the values during the function call okay so this is it for now we will discuss about the keyword arguments in the next video so thank you for watching this video